happened so much? Do you think you what? What you think you got a chance to get a season three using that cream crap? Oh, 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 it worked for you the last time, but the last time you wasn't facing this. I think I made my point. I made myself quite clear because when you're dealing with a beast of a man, like like what was it, Tubbs Chubbs? Call himself, what did he call himself? The, the, the squirrel master or something like that? I don't know. He tried to change his name. They were like, nah. But when he won that little exercise outside, <laughs> the art of fighting without fighting, you still are a grown man who snuck up on a teenager from behind and, and won. And it was the most awesome thing in season two. Prepare yourself, guys. Look, this is, I'm going to give my reaction, my review of the latest season of Cobra Kai. Now, before I get into that, I want to ask you, if you have not already become a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. I hope you hit the notification so you can always be notified whenever we have new videos because we, we're cranking out a lot more lately. A lot of things are happening. There are a lot of, a lot of big things going on in the world. So become a subscriber. You can also check us out on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram at T3 Medias. And if you want to support the channel because I'm going broke, uh, you know, go to our cash app, you know, dollar sign T3 Medias, you know, and, uh, you know, I'll holler for a dollar and I'll do something strange for a piece of change. I will. I have no shame here. No shame. And with all that out of the way, let me tell you a little bit of something of what I learned about season two. Um, even though they were kind of, no, they were fighting over Miguel. I'm sorry, I have that reversed. Robbie was the one like, what's going on? I thought I was being a good boy. I was a good boy. I thought I was being good. I'm not like my dad. It's not fair. I was so close, but he has a, she has a thing for the bad boy. Come out and play. Even when he did the right thing and fessed up, like, hey, I was gonna, I didn't want your boy to get points and stuff, told the truth. Because she was setting him up. She was doing that thing that women do, knows the truth, but was waiting to see if your butt was gonna tell the truth. Oh, she was waiting. And you, boy, you were so lucky. You did the thing that women always claim that they want us to do. Thank you for telling me the truth. Still doesn't stop me from wanting Miguel on the side. You know, I want my heart. The heart wants what the heart wants. That's why they say nice guys finish last. Uh, Johnny became friends again. In this hot head thing. You come in. Johnny even told, taught his students there's no black and white. There's gray, there's gray areas. Everything isn't just black and white. Daniel, just like the way he was in the Karate Kid movie, he comes all the way from Jersey, just like already figuring like that he has everybody sized up. That's the popular chick that I want to be with. That's the jerk that I got to destroy. And all his friends are at buttholes. Not even think. I mean, at that age, yeah, you're not thinking why they're being mean to me and why, why they're acting like, uh, like a-holes. But you're a grown man now. You can't take nothing into consideration when... When your when your daughter and 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 your enemy son that you took in, that you're training, you have responsibility for that stuff too. You took another man's son into your home, knowing how it would feel and look. Because no matter how great of a father you think you are, if the situation was reversed, Daniel, if Johnny had your daughter in his dojo, you would lose your ever-loving mind. And to burst into Johnny's house, and he was like, you need to calm down. I understood that, but at the same time, Johnny, you got this man's daughter in your house. Open the door. Now, you could have just not fought. Daniel technically struck first when he kicked the door down. But you had a man's daughter in your house. So this, but the whole situation where Johnny was constantly trying to talk 
And Daniel was like, nope, I already got it all figured out. All this has to be your fault. Not my daughter. Uh, she even told you, Dad, this is all my fault, which was true. Even though everything that she was feeling about the other girl, you know, that whole fight and stuff, that, that, that she's a bad seed, Tori, yeah, she had a, probably a rough past and was a, a pretty much a bad seed. But she was not, just like Johnny, was not trying to show you that at first. She was just trying to have fun. And the more you kept prejudging her, the worse she got. That is the problem with the LaRussos. They come in with the holier-than-thou attitudes. People like Tori and Johnny are cans of um, are cans of, of, of gasoline. The LaRussos are the matches. Boom! You always blow up the spot. Then, what is the what's 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 there left to uh, to do? Explode. But you're not blaming the person who lit the match. You're not blaming the match for. Uh, you're blaming the explosion on on the on the can of gasoline or the fire. You know, the fire on all that. Just a chicken and egg thing all over again. Now, the whole back and forth with. Hawk and his former best friend, the Binary Boys, and all that stuff. That I was, I was kind of lame, lame for the most part. I was even getting annoyed about when is this dude gonna. I knew it was coming. A day was coming where this dude was gonna. I, it was all the way at the end. He got the upper hand physically. Congratulations. That was predictable. Hawk's constant fall to the dark side was predictable, but yet. So fulfilling. He kept getting worse and worse. Even when I was, yeah, okay, let me go over there and apologize to my, to my ex. I'm sorry. And oh my gosh, she's kissing another girl. This is awesome. And you know what all guys are thinking in that situation? Why didn't you, you know, invite me? Oh my God. Oh my God, I would have died. I, just watching them too. Oh my God. I, oh no, no, no. What could have happened here? It's the what ifs. That's 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 making him uh, punch that uh, <laughs> that that uh, that punching bag ever ever more hard. He was like the walking Terminator in that school in that final fight. Like when the whole thing erupted, yeah, ready for it, busting moves on people, taking punches and feeling no pain. He is. Not, not he hasn't he hasn't been enough time. He's hardened his body to withstand these hits. But he's discon he's disconnected from really feeling the pain. He's embracing the pain. And he's turning it into more rage. He's like that, what's his name from back in the day? Put him in a body bag. No, 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 not him. What was the other dude with the curly hair? I think they said his character's in jail. Oh, man. If he comes back. Oh, my God. That's who he reminds me of, man. That original, um, that original Cobra Kai cast. The dude with the curly hair. Tried to talk that, uh, start that, that mess in the locker room at the end of the movie. Towards before, uh, before the tournament fight. He's got that look in his eyes, man. Because you notice what happened with Miguel and Robbie's character. Miguel was severely injured. He could come back if they if they wanted him to, and and recover and heal. But what's the point? His mom is pissed. Josh, you ain't going back to Cobra Kai. I thought he was going to become a, a Miyagi Do fighter by the end. Probably was heading that way. He was asking for, for yeah, to, to end this all, the whole thing. And then look what happened. Miguel committed uh, a second, deg uh, uh, second degree attempted uh, uh, 
uh, a second degree what assault was that attempted manslaughter or something like that that could have killed that boy if that boy would have died that would have been second degree manslaughter he's going to juvie and he ran he ran away Tory started this fight launched the whole thing but you think after that awesome performance that crazy rivalry between her and Aisha after that the way that it that ended that this the end of them no she's about to become the new Johnny I thought you thought Miguel or even Robbie were, was going to be the new Johnny no the new Johnny the Miguel is Miguel and he became just like Johnny he, he tried he's trying to find peace you know you know you no longer needed here in Kobe Kai Robbie failed in, uh, as a Miyagi-Go student. He's on the run. He's going to jail. He's going to juvie. He's out. He's gone. Probably never coming back. He's a fugitive. Tori is Barnes. Forget what I said about who she resembles from Karate Kid 1. She's Karate Kid 3. Barnes. That's who Tori is. That's how scary she is. Even though I like season one better than season two, that finale, that fight, that whole thing with the intercom, I know what you did. You bring your butt out here in this hallway and we're, we're going to do this. This ain't no turning. That was just that was as almost as like that that whole that whole uh, speech. Your karate is a joke. Your teacher's a joke. He ain't teach you shit. Get up! I own you, Larusso. I own you. Your teacher ain't shit. That's exactly how I felt the way Tori talked to Aisha. That's who Tori's representing now. She's already surpassed John. She is Barnes now. Now moving on to season three. No big uh, cliffhangers or anything like. Oh, let me let's let's talk back to my uh, 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 real quick with uh, uh, my boy um, uh, when he was applying for the security job. Oh, don't worry, I got this. And with his one sided only attacking the Miyagi Go students, high fives Hawk and goes on. And just what? Oh no, you can't work here, sir. But that was awesome. Now let me talk about. So, so yes, he needs to return. Ali, I, I for her to come back. I mean, I wanted, I wanted it then, but I wanted her to present herself. She a, a, a Facebook message that was that was cheesy. I needed more than that. You gave us a great cliffhanger from season one. You gave us a. Facebook request in season two did not like that. We deserve better than that. If you agree, agree, tell me if you agree with this. I feel like we should have seen Barnes show up. Now, my prediction was if Barnes did show up, wouldn't it be cool if he was a changed, I'm not that person anymore, I found peace, blah, blah, blah. But we already got that with one of the original Cobra Kai boys. Person who became a pastor. Can't do that again. So Barnes needs to be Barnes. Ooh. Could you imagine if Barnes takes over as the new uh, lead for Cobra Kai? And Johnny, will Johnny even want to take it back? Will he try to start something new? But this is not over between Tori and Aisha. This is some Shakespearean stuff. This is gonna this is going to go on. And if Barnes finally returns, and it makes sense for season three because he was the villain of Karate Kid 3. If Barnes returns, ooh, and Johnny has to come in and fight him, I want to know. Who is the better, more, most, more skilled fighter, Johnny or Barnes? 
that's what I need to find out. I want this. This that will tell me if Johnny deserves to take Cobra Kai back. Will he even want it after this? Will Barnes become the new villain? I like the gray area stuff. I don't. I feel like with Johnny gone, we have this now. It's black and white almost. But if Daniel is no longer going to be, if his wife is not going to allow him to be a teacher anymore, wouldn't it be interesting if Johnny learned the ways of Miyagi Do <laughs> karate? I don't know why. And tell me if I'm wrong. That's how I'm going to end this, guys. Do you think Johnny will join Miyagi Do Dojo? and keep the legacy going while Daniel sells cars. <laughs> That's how I'll end it, guys. That's my prediction for season three. Barnes returns. Ollie comes back. They rekindle and get married. Johnny finds peace with Miyagi-Do Dojo. And Daniel gets to sell uh, automobiles again and, and you know retires. And then I feel like season three should be the final season. Let me know what you guys think, guys. Until next time. <laughs> Peace.